Hey, what's up guys? This is Andres from Graphic Bible and on today's video I'm going to show you a cool way to use whole keyframes in After Effects so you can create an animation like this one. Roll the intro. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is to name all the layers in Photoshop. We will know which layer is in After Effects, so we save it as a Photoshop file. So go to File and Save. Okay, now that we are in After Effects, we're gonna right click, create new composition. You can name it however you want. And then make sure it's 10 seconds long or as much as you need and click OK. Okay, now we're gonna right click and then click Import File and select the Photoshop project and make sure the composition return layer sizes is selected and click import after that you're gonna get this uh, pop-up window and you're just gonna click ok and then we can drag the composition to the timeline double click and now you have all the layers that we have in photoshop okay guys so we're gonna start with the cardboard and we're gonna go to second seven maybe and click P on your keyboard. So it will add this uh, the position value. So you're gonna click on this stopwatch to create, to create a keyframe. And we're gonna go to maybe second five and click this value again. And we're gonna move it a little bit. So it will be creating a really flat animation. And we don't want that, so we're gonna create a whole keyframe. So we're gonna make this guy a whole keyframe to to hold the volume till he hits the next keyframe. In this case, is the keyframe that we have in second seven. So if you press Ctrl Alt and click at the same time, you're gonna create the whole keyframe. So if we play it back, if you see, it just goes from this position to this one really like kind of fast and we're gonna repeat that process with all the other seconds and maybe and if we select all this keyframe we can just repeat the same process and it will create all keyframes right away if we play now this it will create the effect that we want. So you can make this shorter if you need to. That only depends on how you need it. And that's it guys. This was a quick video about the uh, whole keyframes. A cool way to use them. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on my social media. See you in the next video.